Hi and welcome to this ABC vascular ultrasound video case study, a large partially thrombosed fusiform aneurysm of the popliteal artery. Starting at the level of the popliteal fossa with the transducer in transverse view and B mode, we can appreciate a large aneurysm of the popliteal artery which involves all segments of the arteries. We can also note the presence of significant mural thrombus and we can identify a small patent residual lumen. By sliding the transducer upwards towards the popliteal fossa, we can identify the proximal segment of the non-aneurysmal popliteal artery and popliteal vein which lies superiorly to the artery. By sliding the transducer back down, we can identify again the aneurysm, the thrombus and the patent residual lumen and the distal segment of the non-aneurysmal popliteal artery and vein. By freezing the image, we can measure the maximum anterior posterior and medial lateral diameter of the aneurysm, which are 3.28 cm and 3.4 cm. Moreover, we can also measure the maximum anterior posterior and medial lateral diameter of the patent residual lumen, which are both less than 1 cm. By using the longitudinal view, we can better understand the shape of the aneurysm, which is indeed fusiform and we can again identify the proximal non-aneurysmal regions of the aneurysm as well as the distal and we can also identify again the patent residual lumen and assess again the mural thrombus. To confirm that the lumen it is indeed patent we do apply color flow Doppler which demonstrates the presence of pulsatile spontaneous flow within the patent residual lumen without any regions of color flow aliasing to confirm the quality of the flow, we do assess the flow with pulse wave Doppler, which demonstrates the presence of triphasic Doppler waveform. In conclusion, we have identified a large fusiform aneurysm of the popti artery, which is partially thrombosed and presents a small patent residual lumen with triphasic flow. Thanks for joining ABC Vascular Ultrasound.